Okay, this is the composting toilet frame. I took and I drilled with a spade bit, one inch holes, part way in, and they are going to hold in the magnets, which will hold the sides of the composting toilet. The magnets I purchased are a lot stronger than they need to be. They fit perfectly in those little holes, and I'm going to put in a drywall screw to hold them in and they're going to go on four or five sides, four or five places on each side of the frame. Then I epoxied washers in the exact spot for each one of these and hopefully everything will match up. The sides of the composting toilet will be this plastic poly wall going to be held on by magnets right up against the sides all the way around. Then it can be removed and hosed off and cleaned up real easy. Now, to make the holes for the magnets, these are the round magnets. They're one inch. So I drill with a one inch speed bore bit. Nice thing about the speed bore bit is it gave us this center. And I'm using these aluminum nails which I cut off very easy to cut since they're aluminum and I'm placing those right in the center and then I sprayed a little black spray paint in this water bottle bottom and I'm going to coat each one of the nails just the head of the nail with a little black paint and then I'm going to push the plastic right up against it to mark the center of where the metal washers are going to go that are going to be attracted by the magnets. Get this nice and centered. Nice and centered. And push on those nails. And hopefully I do this right. I got some black dots that show me the center of right where my metal washers need to be glued on. And I have to do that for all the sides, put epoxy on them, and wait a day. Make sure everything's glued up tight. Okay, I've finished the sides and placed all the magnets on the frame of the composting toilet. Each washer that's glued onto the poly wall matches the frame where there's a magnet and it just snaps on there. So I can take these off and I can hose them off with a hose if they ever get dirty. this side, strong magnets. And this washer up here, and this washer was a little bit too high, so I had to take a chisel and cut away on some of the wood. If I were to do this again, when I drill my holes for the magnets, instead of drilling a one, drilling a one inch hole, which is the perfect size for these magnets, I think I drill a little larger hole, maybe a one and a quarter inch. That would give me a little leeway so that in case I didn't perfectly match up my, my washers, I would still get it to fit nice and flat because if the washers don't match up, if they're off a little bit, you end up with a gap in between the poly wall. It's not perfect, but for a do-it-yourself composting toilet, it's good enough. The next part is to finish up the top, which I've got gluing up behind me, and then to seal all of this wood and then paint it white with a nice epoxy coated finish so that I can hose everything down when it becomes necessary to clean. So 
So that's it for today. I have laminated the poly wall on both sides of the toilet top and this will fit right on the top. The poly wall on the sides overlaps to cover the edges. The edges will also be painted with epoxy. Now I have to locate where the toilet seat's going to go on top. I selected this Bemis brand toilet seat because it has quick disconnects and I think its title even says easy clean. All right, I located where I wanted the seat to go and I had to drill two holes to place the seat bolts. Now under the seat bolts these plastic nuts will go on. Below the seat You'll see I have this heavy piece of wood, so I had to, in order for this nut to fit, I had to use the hole saw and drill a hole. The size of this hole is one and a quarter inches. I drilled it down with this hole saw, and after I got to the depth I needed, I didn't go all the way through, I got to the depth I needed so that this will fit in flush. Then, to get the center out, I cleaned it up with a one inch spade bit. It worked out really well because it took it all out. I thought I was going to have to use a chisel and a hammer to take the excess wood out, but this cleaned it up very well. So now, I'll drill the holes all the way through. Then, the length of this pin the rest of the toilet seat bolt will go in and it'll keep the top from sliding around. I would thought I was going to put pins in, but I've already got them. They conveniently provided them because of the length of the bolt. Once you've completed the composting toilet frame, you need to disassemble it and then glue it together with a waterproof glue like this Type Bond 3. Then after that's dried it should be painted with this Valspar bonding primer. It goes on nice and thick and seals all the wood. You can also use something like Bullseye 123 which will provide mold and mildew resistance. This company also makes an additive packet that you can add to one gallon of paint to get those mold and mildew resistant properties. I'll put a link to that in the description and possibly if I can find it, a picture of the package in this video. Now it's time to make the flushing bucket. To do that, take your five gallon bucket, drill quarter inch holes directly across from each other Take about five feet of paracord, which is longer than necessary. Okay. Pass that through, putting a knot on one side, all the way through to the other. Same on this side, place a knot, pass it all the way through the bucket, and in the center, you're gonna tie these two pieces of paracord together. And that's gonna sit in the bottom of the bucket. Then you take your dry bag with composting material in it, could be cedar shavings like we have here, pine shavings, peat moss, coconut, whatever the material is of your choice, and that goes in the bucket. Then to flush, you simply pull on this cord, mixing your solid materials with the compost inside. That will dry it out and keep the odor at a minimum. Another way to make this even easier to use, you could take the dry bag out, removing the compost material, putting a clean dry bag in, 
Then take the garbage bag. This one's a little too big, but it'll go, do good for this demonstration. Put in a clean garbage bag. Put your compost material in. Use it in the same fashion, flushing just as you would with the dry bag. You're getting the same mixing action there. And then when you decide it's time to clean this out, you can just take this bag out and replace it with more compost material and a new bag, making it probably one of the most sanitary and cleanest composting toilets available.